this is Sabina at Cross Keys Crafts with another haul video today because I have been shopping recently quite a bit. I always have the New Year's resolution not to buy as many crafty things and then all the offers are on and I get carried away. But the other day I thought to myself, I've got the money, I can afford it and I really do enjoy crafting so I'd rather invest my money into this other people have other hobbies that they invest money in or they like to go out I don't drink really so or, or eat out a lot so I thought no I treat myself and these were really good bargains the first lot I have is from Craft Stash they had an offer on recently of various magazines obviously last year's magazines um, but they were reduced to four, not more than five pounds. And I did get carried away a bit, but it is a good um, investment if you do that because over 30 pounds, it's free delivery. So I try to do that. And as I said, I got a bit carried away. But the YouTube channel now gives me the chance to actually, or the enticement to use my supplies so this is what i'm going to do with all these magazines i want to make at least two cards with all the supplies if not more and so just quickly want to go through these uh, magazines so if you have got the same magazines maybe bought them last year or took up that offer that was on recently you might want to follow my channel and see what i do with these so this one here is the simply cards and paper craft issued um 227 and that enticed me to buy it because I love peacocks. And this one came with this lovely, let me just get a piece of cardstock, lovely peacock stamp and the peacock feather embossing folder. I've got a peacock feather embossing folder, but mine's all sort of a straight pattern. I love this whirly bit and I'm sure I'll be using that a lot. The next one is the Creative Stamping Magazine, issued 109, and I really love this one. At first I wasn't quite sure whether it was actually stamps, but it has got all these square and octagon stamps with different patterns and some sentiments here by Lou Collins. So I think this will be very versatile, and I already had a look at various techniques how you can use these, so that'll be great. And I can get very creative with that. I really love this. Then another one um, inspired by Lou Collins is um, the Simply Cards and Paper Craft issue 232, which came with the owl and some um, sentiments. Um, at first, I wasn't quite sure about this, whether I really like it. And, um, but I do like owls and then I realised how creative you can actually get with us and these are really good uh, sentiments to use on various projects so that's really good and this one here um, a year of cards how to's that's just loads of cards and uh, inspirations and pattern paper so I thought this would be really nice to look at and have a look what other people have created because I do love getting inspiration you see so much but sometimes even though you don't copy it it gives inspiration for your own projects which I think is really good then another simply cards and paper craft issue 229 and I like this one because I love the fruit you get some uh, a peach and a pear stamp with some flowers here and you get some coordinating dies for this fruit and this one here so that'd be really nice and I think it comes with some pattern paper as well a quick look not in here but you might be able to download these oh yeah digital papers so that will be really good then the die cutting essentials issue 93 and um, this one oh yeah the reason why I bought this one it came with these dies and yes, I do have leaf dies, but I really liked this one and this one because it um, makes some sort of fir tree and it is very good for Christmas um, dies and Christmas decorations because I haven't got that yet. So I thought that would be really useful. So I'd be using that a lot. Then the Papercraft Essentials issue 216. This one I hesitated at first because I've never really done this before. You already got pre-cut things, so it's foil die-cut toppers 
um, di normal die cut toppers, pattern papers. So this is already in the pack here and I've never used something like that before. So I'll have a look how I use these and uh, yeah, there are a lot of, obviously lots of inspiration in the book. And the same with this one here, which is the Paper Craft Essentials um, 215. You get this luxury paper pad and it's got toppers in it. Loads of toppers there and some ideas there for little boxes. And then it's got the paper pad here at the end. So again, um, at first I thought it might be very limiting to what you can do. But I think I can combine this with other projects and just use these as toppers to add very quickly to cards. Um, if you have followed me for a bit, you've seen I like some Carl Cotts videos. So if you make like a, a mechanism card of any sort and you just have these as toppers, I think this will be great. So the whole lot here, which was seven magazines, cost me just over 30 quid and I thought that was really good. So I treated myself to these. Then the next lot... I got from Amazon and that again was Sam Calcott's fault. I'll tell you what, I'll show you what I bought with this, which I bought from Sam Calcott, is the Flower uh, Dyes Creative Cuts Collection. So a Funko Florals Dyes that it's called. She used these in a live video, um, live recently, and I, I was just in awe what she created but it's so simple and I've made already made a few flowers I'm going to show that in, a, in an upcoming video but she also used she didn't only, only use paper she also used some um, foam floral foam so I got this this is a crafters companion one but I got this through Amazon so um, they're just pastel colors they're already pre-colored um, so you don't need to color them yourself so I'm looking into using this and to go with this, just because it was cheaper as a set, I bought myself this, which has got some pliers, the wire for the flowers, which is the long ones, and the other wire, and then the tape, which so you can actually make a whole bouquet. So I'm looking into this. And again, uh, for that very purpose, some stamens for the... Um, for the flowers rather than just putting other embellishments in the middle you can poke these through and that's what Sam Calcott did in her video so I just bought this lot here uh, anyway I'll link I'm going to link to them below and then you can see what the prices were but I thought it was reasonable for what it was then another thing from craft stash that didn't cost me anything but I'm looking forward to using is this because I won the Facebook Live um, a week ago uh, and Gina Douglas showed these, the two stencils and the stamp and die set, the seasonal stroll. And I thought I would just win maybe a stencil, but they sent me the whole bundle, which is great. So I'm going to look forward to using these. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, one of my newest purchases is my new cutting mat. I will actually try not to cut into this. I just wanted a different background because I had the dark green one. So I treated myself to this one. It's pink on the imperial side and purple on the matrix side. And although I grew up in Germany, because in the UK here, everything's an imperial, I started getting used to the imperial and I love the pink. So just a few more essentials that I got from the range this week. Um, just some metallic flakes. I already have rose gold ones, so I just bought the silver and the gold, and they were just a pound each. And then these, I saw Sam Calcott use these. They were just a pound each, so I just got two lots. So a good bargain if you've got a range nearby. They're just the, the round uh, foam dots, and I always have the square rectangular ones, but I thought, thought these would be really useful. So... Together with my um, crafting mat here, I thought I'd treat myself and buy myself some new cutting plates for my die cutting machine because mine are getting really, really damaged. So I will exchange the one on the top, use a new one on the top, and the one I've been keeping on the top will go in as a bottom plate. And uh, this way I can save them and just use one at a time. And then one more 
of thing I triggered myself to. I have done it before, but sorry, that was a um, roll of tape falling on the floor. I've done this before. Um, maybe you read in my description. I used to make jewellery. That was one of my um, latest crafts before I got into card making. And I have used shrink plastic before, but I saw Emma Jo from Lavinia Stamps make various projects recently. So I got, my, got myself some more of the black shrinkles, which is really good. I have got a video on this channel where I'm making some Halloween earrings. But I also found they actually do some coloured shrink plastic. So I'm going to give this a go because, again, you know, you've, the options are endless and you don't need to dye or colour them yourself. And another thing I saw Joe use, um, also when I went to the Living Your Open days, she had this tool here from, sorry, this is from Sizzix. Uh, shrink plastic accessories as that I'm going to link it below and this helps you when you um, shrink the plastic to basically press it down to keep it in place and also you can use this and this one I didn't know at first that this one existed this obviously is a mat you just put underneath this one you can put over the plastic so when you shrink it it doesn't fold up but I haven't used it yet, so I see how well that works. But that would be really great because the bigger the pieces, the more likely they fold onto each other. And sometimes then one end sticks to the other and then that's that's it. You can't do anything about it. So I treated myself to these because I think they will really help with this. So, yeah, that's all I bought recently. I have got orders out for some more visible image stamps and I ordered... Um, some Calcott's new dies today, which were for the book book dies and the double wiper dies. So they will be coming next week. So lots of ideas in my head. Not as much time as I would like to have for crafting. But yeah, you will all see these things in future videos. Yeah, and if you'd like to see what I make with these, you might want to subscribe to my channel. I'd be very happy about that. Talking of which, I have got over 100 subscribers now. So thank you very much for that. I really, really appreciate that. And I'm glad you enjoy what I'm making on my channel. So I'll see you again soon.